video is a little bit different than normal. I'm actually on my way to a little town that's near me, about 30 miles away. I've been kind of itching for a, uh, a new project, like 90s, 80s, another Yamaha, just like my, my little Radian that I have. I want another one. Uh, Radian, I don't feel like taking it apart again and doing everything all over again, so I think I want another one. And then there's two options uh, in that town that I'm talking about. Uh, for me to buy. One's a 04 uh, YZF uh, 600R. It's a little too new for what I want, but um, it's something I'm interested in because I'm going to make the trip anyway, so I may as well look at it. Uh, I may even stop at a little place that I can get parts at, so we'll see how that goes. Guys, I'm going to show you something that I unfortunately see way too often in this truck. Uh, you know, I, I run my own business and I'm in my truck like 99% of the time, but unfortunately, uh, that also entails seeing that dang warning way more than I want to see it. The 5.4 three valve in the port in the Tritons, my god, it's the worst uh, when it comes to fuel mileage. Well, got it bought. <laughs> really? See it back there in the back uh, being towed. Um, got a bot, got a good deal on it, so and it's clean, so here we go. What's up, guys? So I got the bike, um, it's right behind me. Just started doing a little work to it. Um, I really am only gonna do like this first video. I'm probably gonna do like the oil change, I'll do uh, brake pads. Um, I'm gonna test fit a wheel that I picked up at the salvage yard um, because I really want to do the rear wheel conversion on this. Um, I want to do like a 150 160 tire, which makes it look cooler, I think. Um, so I picked one up. Um, I'm gonna try test fitting it on the bike right now before I even order tires so this way I know what tire to order I don't want to order a tire for this wheel which is a three and a half inch wide tire and then have to buy another 150 tire which is for the four inch wheel if it does fit so I'm gonna do that first even though I want to take care of all the maintenance and brakes and and oil changes all that stuff first because that's like priority number one is making sure the bike is right uh, all about being safe you know um, I also want to test fit some exhaust parts that I got because I picked up two um, two exhausts that look like this right here so I picked up two of these cheap ones on Amazon so I really hope they're gonna fit um, take a look at the bike I'm gonna walk around it show you guys exactly what it is it's a 92 Seika uh, Yamaha uh, 600 cc um, it's got 17,000 miles on it it runs really really good um, I was really surprised when I picked it up how clean it really was um, I love these bikes this is my second one if you look over here there's my uh, right there is my 89 or 90 uh, X or YX 600 which is a Radian I love 90s bikes I love carbureted bikes I love carbureted four cylinders this one's gonna sound a little different because it's got the dual exhaust if you almost see if all those fit um, the bikes cool walk around it you know what I mean it's I'm gonna make it cool I'm gonna put a totally different headlight because my most hated thing on this bike is the headlight. Uh, I can't stand steel beam headlights. And A, being safe on a bike is all about being able to be seen, uh, which is what the exhaust is really for. I mean, not only does it make it sound cool, it makes it more fun to ride, the experience more uh, more fun, but um, it's also about being seen, you know what I mean? Uh, all about visibil visibility. And with those steel beam headlights, nobody can see you. Um, and what if I, if I put on a clear headlight, like the one that I picked up already, the salvage yard which i'll be putting on in one of the videos but i think it's going to fit really good behind the uh behind the fairing updated a little bit uh, because there was one there at uh salvage yard already i took the front off of it just to make sure that it fit into the contours and everything and it did so i'm gonna try to put it in there um part i'm gonna do it in parts so you guys will see part one part two part three part four um part one is literally going to be today's video which is um oil change uh, since I'm gonna have the rear wheel off, I'm gonna do the rear brake pads. I'm not gonna do the front brake pads yet, but since I have it on the rear stand, I'm gonna do the oil change also. Um, and then maybe you'll get to hear, hopefully the mic picks up the sound, um, so you can hear what the bike sounds like with the stock exhaust and hear it running and all those things, you know, because it's gonna sound completely different once I get this exhaust on. Let's try it out, let's check all this stuff out. Let's get started on the bike. <laughs> 